Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today we're gonna to build a ramp so my wiener dog Weens can get up on the bed. Today's video is sponsored by Evolve, superior pet food made with real meat. So Weens is now over 10 years old and he cannot jump up on the bed. Yes, we are the type of people that allow our dog to sleep in the bed with us, but he's super adorable, so he deserves it. There's a couple different routes. To save space, we could have it come up this way and have him turn a corner. But we thought if we have it come down this way, we can build storage into it. So I have these cardboard templates that I cut out to figure out the right slope and to see how much room this would actually take up in the bedroom. And I'm gonna have storage on this side. And so the top will be two parts. This part will flip up this way so you can access the storage. And then this bottom part will flip up this way so it doesn't take up so much room when we don't need the ramp. I cut out of walnut plywood because that's going to be visible. The parts for the inside are not going to be visible and so I'm going to use this Baltic birch that I have lying around. So now I'm going to attach the front and the back to the sides using some pocket hole screws. I'm not gonna add any glue just in case I wanna knock this down at a later date. Now we're gonna cut the piece where both the hinges will attach to. Now we only have two more pieces to cut, the piece for the top here and the piece for the bottom. So let's go do that over on the table saw. For the bottom piece, I'm gonna add this foot here. And once again, I'm gonna use pocket holes and no glue. And the reason I'm not gonna use glue is because I may want to raise or lower this depending on whether or not Weens will use this. Now let's get some edge banding on the exposed edges of the plywood. All right, so I got some carpet that I'm gonna lay along the top, but before I do that, I'm gonna give it a good shellacking. I'd like to talk to you about today's sponsor, Evolve. Evolve offers super premium pet food and treats made right here in the USA. They've had family owned facilities for over 50 years. There's no corn, no wheat, no soy, no artificial anything in their foods. Meat is the number one ingredient in Evolve pet foods. Use the coupon code MAKE20 to get 20% off and free shipping over the next seven days. So you have to act fast. 
Seriously folks, it's not only important that you eat healthy, but you need to feed your pets high end quality food. I'm really thankful for this opportunity to work with Evolve. They've been fans of my channel for a long time. Huh, buddy, buddy. You're a good boy. You like Evolve? Yeah. I'd like to thank my top Patreon supporters. Let me see. Derek Jacobson, Jonathan J. Katz Moses, Timothy Allen, David Flores, and Nathan Bird. Now let's get back to the project. Ready for this? Okay, we are back up in the bedroom. I have this thing up against the bed and I have this carpet runner that I bought. I made this to the exact width of this carpet runner and I think I can do this without cutting that carpet at all by wrapping this around the edge here, stapling it down and then wrapping it around the edge on the bottom here. So let's do that. I'm gonna use the help of some clamps to clamp this down before stapling. I'm gonna pound these in with a hammer just to make sure they never come out so I don't ever step on them. All right, let's give this a shot. <laughs> no, buddy, we use the ramp now. Come on, come on. So we do have a little bit of training to do because he still wants to come over to this side of the bed and wait for me to pick him up. He just got used to that lifestyle. Um, but this works great, this folds up and out of the way we can run the sweeper or the vacuum down here and then we have storage in here that works great <laughs> you want a treat buddy he has no problem coming down the ramp we just need to teach him to use the ramp instead of waiting for me on the other side luckily i have some treats from evolve that i can use to train him come on oh <laughs> good boy <laughs> yes, that worked out great. I would like to thank Evolve for sponsoring this video. Without them, this project would not be possible and Weens wouldn't be so darn happy. I have links to the Evolve food in the description down below as well as to my new book. I know that many of you are pet owners like me and have made things for your pets. Let me know in the comments down below what you've made or what you want to make because I'm looking for more ideas. Huh, buds? You want all kinds of good stuff, don't you? Before we go, we need to draw a name for the matched fit dovetail clamps. I got random.org up on my computer here, and we're going to generate a random number, and the random number is 540. Who was number 540? Let me see. Roy Funk, Roy Funk, I will send you an email to get your address and send those out. So thanks, guys. Well, guys, I hope you liked that video. Uh, I'm going to try out this new thing where at the end of my videos, I'm going to kind of give you like a, a, hey, what the heck is going on? I got some packages in the mail today. We're going to open them up and see what we got. This comes from France. My buddy Gerald uh, in France, he is known as the Redsmith. He's lived all over the world. He's He's been a huge supporter of this channel and of my podcast, Making It. So Gerald, thank you. It's cold down here in the basement. Oh, this is so cool. I know he made marking knives for all three members of the Making It podcast, me, Jimmy Duresta, and Bob Cleggett. Oh, that is so cool. That is a beautiful marking knife. Look at that. This is my current marking knife crap that I got off of Amazon. Gerald, thank you so much. Thank you for listening to the podcast, and I'm sure Jimmy and Bob will appreciate theirs as well. All right, all right, all right. This one, this is from Jeff, I already know what's in here because he sent me an email. Jeff knows that I collect old woodworking books um, and so he sent me some cool ones here. Here's a little secret, this wall behind me, this is fake. You guys, I've pointed this out before in the past, but I'm thinking about taking this down and putting up bookshelves so I have nothing but books behind me. Nothing but like woodworking books and metal books and sharpening and tool care, portable power tools, woodworking machines, building chairs, ooh, cabinet making, routing and shaping, wood turning, the craftsman wood turner, turning green wood, wood turning individual approach, wood turning a fresh approach, shop tested woodworking tools you can make. Maybe we can make one of those a video. Turning boxes, I have not turned a box yet. Setting up your own woodworking shop. So 
Thank you, Jeff, so much. I truly appreciate it. I don't know what is in here. This is from Donovan, Pat Donovan. <laughs> A wiener dog Christmas ornament. Look at that. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. So thanks, guys. I got this absolutely amazing email. Made me feel just all gushy inside. Uh, I got an email from Karen who said that her daughter made my cactus planters. This is a video that I did uh, a year, two years ago. And she made them and she handed them out to her teachers. Take a look at these. These are so, so cool. Uh, she says, I got the idea of making a cactus planter by watching a YouTube video published by Make Something. I thought this would be a lot easier when I told my mom I wanted to make these for my teachers for Christmas. Alexandra, you are so cool for making these. Thanks, Karen, for sharing this with me. All right, guys, so I hope you like this little extra that I'm gonna start adding to the videos. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure out how to make this more fun. Maybe I'm not at my bench. Maybe we, you know, we go out and we do stuff and, uh, yeah, we're just have, having fun, right? That's, that's the goal of all of this, is just to have fun. I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas weekend. I hope we have a fantastic 2017 together. I know that I have so many awesome, cool projects. At least I think they're gonna be awesome and cool coming right, right off the bat. So thank you guys for being so supportive of what I do. Oh, oh, before we go, before we go, I do wanna mention that we do have our podcast, Making It, with Jimmy Dresta and Bob Claggett. We now have hooded sweatshirts, and these came out really cool. I like them a lot. I, myself, have a two-color printed sweatshirt here, the Make Something sweatshirt. It is cold up here in my part of the world. So if you need a sweatshirt, check that out. There'll be links down below. I don't sell them on my website. If you go to my store, there's actually a link that takes you to another store, and uh, the screen printing company, Juke Mode, here in Toledo, they print these for me and then they also do the shipping. So that's why you have to click on a link to go to another store because shipping is not fun. All right guys, as always, have fun, be safe, find your passion and make something.